All right, I brought this car in for a checkup on the airbag system. Cost of Volkswagen just to check it is that. Cost to fix the problem is that. That's after the other price. So I told them, don't bother with it. I'll go ahead and fix it. It's an airbag problem. Might just need to be reset, or I might have to um, take it out and check all the connections around it. So I get into that and start working on it. And they told me, well, I knew what the problem was, but they said it actually was the same thing I was thinking of. It's the passenger side airbag. So you'll need the little bone to take out this corner first. That's all it is, just slides out. Now, the other thing you have to do is take out the glove box because that connection should be behind the glove box somewhere in this area here. So I'm gonna make sure that connection is together like it should be. I have something to reset it, so, you know, I can reset it, but if you don't, you'll need the uh, ODB2 um, computer that can reset airbags. Uh, let me go on the other side, show y'all the airbag like what it does. All right, I'm on this side, put the key in. Starts it. Let me close the door. The airbag light stays on. So that's the the issue. So I'll go ahead and take out everything. Go from there. All right, the glove box is out. You're gonna have, when you open up the glove box, you're gonna have three screws aiming up, T25s. You'll have one on the side, this cover that you took off, and two at the bottom when the glove box is closed. You might as well take out the one on the side first, the two on the bottom, and then the three on the inside and hold, hold it up while you um, take the last one off. The center one is what I leave for the last. Then you have this switch back here. It's a little clip you push in, pull out. That's the airbag key. And that's what controls the passenger side airbag. So, And that's what the problem was. Some, something to do with the passenger side airbag isn't getting voltage. So I'll go ahead and check into it again. Matter of fact, I might as well run the test while this is unplugged and see if it's the same code. All right, I'll be back. Don't do this if you don't have something to reset the airbag. Take this clip out. Take the airbag clip out. And then you can remove the glove box that gives you more room. You have another, um, let me get light. Another airbag clip right up there. And I'll go disconnect that one and then run the code again and see if that pops up as no change. If it's no change, then I know then the problem is up there. Okay, I just ran the code after unplugging it, and I came up with three. Okay, I'll show you what I did. Right now, it's showing two codes. I know one of them is the glove box key. I took it out. So what I do, I go up here and unplug this one. Then I go back, and I run the code again. Let's see if I can get back, 
read code it pops up with three now so I know that's not one and that's how I do it then I'll plug it back in erase it again and go to another spot okay I disconnected the airbag onto the seat oh that's built into the seat run the code again and just come up with two I know one is the glove box because I disconnected it so it should have a third one because I just disconnected that one so this tells me the problem is the one in the seat so I'll go ahead and look into it maybe it wasn't plugged in properly or whatever I'll check into it now I think I found a problem for some reason it wasn't um, when I pushed it back in it would not stay so I played with it a while got it plugged back in ran the code again and I got one problem the airbag cutoff switch which I know the glove box isn't there so I got it put everything back together I'll be done with this all right, I got the glove box back in. The code's still showing up. So what you do, you go back, you erase the code. Now when you're erasing the code, what I always do, I look up. See, it's showing nothing right now. Go ahead. Yes, I'm gonna erase it yes okay go back and read the code okay no codes so she is cured all right but thanks for watching now i still got the computer hooked up i won't unplug it come in no problem now, turn the key, airbag light is on, start the car, light goes up, if I let the brakes down, there's no lights on the dash, just the way it should be.